Good morning, you guys. Pretty much as soon as I wake up, I'll head to the bathroom to do some skincare, makeup if I'm going to do any makeup, and just get started for the day so I feel fresh. Once I'm done in the bathroom, then I kind of check my phone, email, social media, that kind of thing. But I like to start with the verse of the day on the Bible app. I feel like it just gives me something positive to meditate on and start my day with. I'll be honest, I definitely do not normally lay out my workout clothes the night before. I just always forget to, but we were filming for Garmin Running today, so I needed to have a certain outfit clean and ready to go with kind of a running focus. So that's why we laid out the workout outfit for today. Now it's pretty much time to go to the gym, so I'll make a water, make a coffee, pack up my gym bag, and load up the car. Yeah, baby. Ninety nine percent of people are not willing to do what it takes to make their dreams come true. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. The center of bringing any dream into fruition is self discipline. You know, some, something as simple as food and eating, it, it's not about your, your body as much as it is about your mind. It's getting command of your mind to be able to choose actions that are in your own best interest. Every day, we are choosing shit that's not in our own best interest. So if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, so you gonna stop yourself from getting what you dream. And I think the word discipline has kind of gotten a, a bad name. We think about it in terms of punishment. I'm not, I'm not talking about discipline in that way. I'm talking about discipline in the sense that you, you forego immediate pleasure for the exchange of long-term self-respect. I believe that self-discipline is the definition of self-love. That when you say that you love yourself, that means that 
you have behavior towards yourself that is loving. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. So after we got back from the gym, I did a quick cold plunge and then I took a shower. Today was hair wash day, so we're doing the full routine. I'm honestly obsessed with our shower because the natural lighting from the window makes it so aesthetic. So I typically wear comfy clothes since I do work from home and once again kind of minimal makeup unless I'm filming something for a brand. And this is honestly where the most fun part of my morning routine comes in. I love making a kind of bougie coffee with collagen, with probiotics, just spicing things up. We have an espresso and a coffee maker because sometimes, if I'm being honest, you really do just need a bougie latte. So I mean just look at that. Look at that creamy latte. It's so freaking good. In all of these clips, I'm in our sunroom, which is quite honestly my favorite room of our house. We are obsessed with it, and every single morning, this is where I have my quiet time. I try to just start my day with some scripture, like I said, early, early in the morning, but then I do my thorough Bible reading and my journaling. Once I've kind of planned out my day, journaled, read my Bible, that's when I come in the kitchen because it's usually around 9 or 10 a.m. that I start getting pretty ravenously hungry after getting up at 5 in the morning. So this morning I made some protein oats. Okay, you guys, so I made a yummy breakfast bowl. Like, I'm so excited to dig into this. I'll be honest, I don't normally make such a fancy breakfast. I do love protein oats and still make them consistently at least once a week. Um, I love oats, but I just don't normally go quite this beautiful, if you will. It's normally just a big blob, which it kind of is today, but I tried to make it aesthetic for you guys, so you're welcome if you care. I'm about to absolutely scarf this down because I'm so hungry. It's almost 10 now, and we've been up since like 4.30. So, very hungry girl, worked out, um, have done my reading for the morning, kind of my planning of the day, what that's going to look like, and now I'm about to go sit down and start my work day, which will kind of be the outro to this vlog. It's just me getting on my computer, checking emails, writing to-do lists seeing what I need to do for He Would Love First, seeing what I need to do for content stuff, seeing what stuff I have planned today to film for TikTok and YouTube right now and all the different things. So that's kind of what my typical morning routine looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video inspired productivity, early mornings, um, time with Jesus in the mornings, and just so many other good things. Thank you guys for watching and let's go get work started. Mm -hmm.